Greetings. Get ready for a journey back in time as we unlock the gates to a world long forgotten. In this thrilling adventure, we're about to release the giants of the past, dinosaurs. Join us as we delve into the fascinating world of these prehistoric creatures, uncovering intriguing facts and untold stories. Tarbosaurus, a formidable carnivorous dinosaur, roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. Belonging to the Tyrannosaurid family, Tarbosaurus batar, meaning alarming lizard, shared striking similarities with its more famous relative, Tyrannosaurus rex. The Tyrannosaurus rex, often abbreviated as T-rex, stands as one of the most iconic and fearsome dinosaurs that roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. Characterized by its massive size, short arms, and powerful jaws filled with large serrated teeth, the T-Rex was a carnivorous apex predator. The Scorpio's Rex, was a hybrid dinosaur frozen and held captive in InGen's secret tunnels until it escaped. It is also the central antagonist of Jurassic World Camp Cretaceous Season 3. There are two known individuals, the first one created by Henry Wu, with the second one being asexually reproduced by the original. The Uteranus, a prehistoric giant of the Cretaceous period emerges from the depths of time as a formidable dinosaur that once roamed Earth. Sporting a distinctive blend of awe-inspiring size and feathered majesty, the Uteranus stands as a testament to the fascinating diversity of ancient life. Kienzosaurus, meaning Chienzo lizard, is a genus of Tyrannosaurid dinosaur that lived in Asia during the Maastrichtian age of the late Cretaceous period. There is currently only one species named, the type species Chienzusaurus sinensis, which is a member of the tribe Alioramini, and most closely related to Alioramus, the only other known Alioramin. The Indominus rex is a genetically engineered dinosaur that made its debut in the Jurassic World film. Created by combining the genetic material of various prehistoric creatures, this colossal and formidable predator stands at the forefront of genetic innovation. Its intelligence, camouflage, capabilities and unmatched ferocity make it a central figure in the Jurassic World narrative, showcasing the perils of pushing the boundaries of scientific experimentation in the pursuit of creating the ultimate apex predator. The Metricanthosaurus, a captivating dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, emerges as a fascinating creature in the annals of paleontology. Characterized by its agile build and distinctive features, this carnivorous theropod dinosaur is believed to have roamed the Earth approximately 150 million years ago. The Indoraptor is a fictional creature featured in the Jurassic World film series. A genetically modified hybrid dinosaur, it is the result of combining the DNA of a Velociraptor and the genetically engineered Indominus rex. Exhibiting heightened intelligence, agility and a sinister demeanor, the Indoraptor is a formidable and nightmarish predator. Majungasaurus, a captivating carnivorous dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period roamed the ancient landscapes of what is now Madagascar, approximately 70 million years ago. Belonging to the theropod group, this remarkable predator stood on two powerful hind limbs, boasting a formidable combination of strength and agility. 
Megalosaurus, a majestic and fearsome creature of prehistoric times, roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, approximately 166 million years ago. Belonging to the theropod group of dinosaurs, this colossal carnivore was a bipedal predator with sharp teeth and powerful jaws, making it a formidable force in the ancient landscapes it inhabited. Acrocanthosaurus, a majestic predator that once roamed the ancient landscapes of North America, was a fearsome theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 115 to 105 million years ago. With an estimated length of up to 40 feet, 12 meters, and possessing powerful jaws filled with serrated teeth, Acrocanthosaurus was a formidable carnivore likely preying on herbivorous dinosaurs of its time. Gigantoraptor was the largest known oviraptorosaur, reaching 8 meters, 26 ft in length and 2 metric tons, 2.2 short tons in body mass. It had an extensively pneumatized vertebral column and elongated arms and legs. Both femur and tibia measured over 1 meters, 3.3 ft in length an unusual trait among giant theropods. Carnotaurus, a captivating carnivorous dinosaur that once roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70, 80 million years ago. Measuring around 25 feet, 7.5 meters in length, Carnotaurus possessed a unique set of features, including short, stubby arms and powerful hind limbs adapted for swift movement. Its robust skull, with sharp teeth and a mouth capable of significant jaw strength, showcased its prowess as a predator. Giganotosaurus, a colossal carnivorous dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, strides through the annals of prehistory as one of the largest theropods to roam the ancient landscapes. With its menacing presence, and razor-sharp teeth, Giganotosaurus commanded the apex predator role, measuring up to 40 feet in length and weighing several tons. Carcharodontosaurus, a majestic and fearsome dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 93 to 100 million years ago. Belonging to the theropod group, this colossal predator was a member of the Carcharodontosauridae family, renowned for its massive size and formidable presence. With a length that could exceed 40 feet, Carcharodontosaurus possessed a robust build, razor-sharp teeth and powerful jaws, making it a formidable apex predator of its time. The name Carcharodontosaurus itself reflects its shark-like teeth, underscoring the awe-inspiring nature of this ancient giant in the prehistoric landscapes it once dominated. Cryolophosaurus, a majestic dinosaur from the early Jurassic period, roamed the ancient landscapes of Antarctica approximately 190 million years ago. Named for the distinctive crest on its head resembling a crown, this theropod stood out among its prehistoric peers. Allosaurus, a formidable predator of the late Jurassic period, roamed the Earth approximately 150 million years ago. This theropod dinosaur, characterized by its robust build and distinctive three-fingered hands, was a carnivorous giant that reached lengths of up to 30 feet. Sporting a large skull with sharp teeth and a powerful jaw, Allosaurus was well adapted for hunting herbivorous dinosaurs of its time. Concavenator, a fascinating dinosaur that once roamed the Earth during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 130 million years ago, is a noteworthy addition to the prehistoric pantheon. With an estimated length of around 20 feet, 6 meters, Concavenator sported a set of formidable claws 
and likely embraced a carnivorous lifestyle. Unearthed in Spain, this intriguing dinosaur contributes to our understanding of the diverse and enigmatic creatures that populated our planet in the ancient past. Albertosaurus is a fascinating dinosaur that roamed North America during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 73 million years ago. Belonging to the Tyrannosauridae family, Albertosaurus was a formidable predator, characterized by its large size, powerful jaws, and distinctive two-fingered forelimbs. The name Albertosaurus pays homage to the Canadian province of Alberta, where many of its fossils have been discovered. The Ceratosaurus, a captivating dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, roamed the Earth around 150 million years ago. Characterized by its distinctive horn on the snout and a bony crest atop its head, this theropod dinosaur stood on two powerful hind legs and boasted a formidable presence in the prehistoric landscape. Spinosaurus, a prehistoric giant of the Cretaceous period, was a remarkable theropod dinosaur that prowled the ancient waterways around 112 to 93 million years ago. Renowned for its colossal size, it rivaled even the infamous Tyrannosaurus rex, sporting an elongated snout resembling that of a crocodile. Spinosaurus was uniquely adapted for a semi-aquatic lifestyle likely spending a considerable amount of time in rivers and lakes. The exact nature of its diet remains a subject of scientific inquiry, with some evidence suggesting a perseverous inclination, while others propose a more diverse menu, including terrestrial and aquatic prey. Baryonyx a captivating creature from the prehistoric past, roamed the Earth during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 130 to 125 million years ago. This remarkable theropod dinosaur stood out with its distinctive features, including a long crocodile-like snout adorned with sharp conical teeth. Its name, meaning heavy claw, pays homage to the impressive claw on its first finger, suggesting potential adaptations for fishing. The Ankylosaurus, a majestic herbivorous dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, roamed the Earth approximately 68 to 66 million years ago. Recognized for its distinctive armor-like plates and formidable tail club, the Ankylosaurus was a tank-like creature designed for both defense and survival. This prehistoric giant measured around 20 feet in length and boasted a low-slung, heavily armored body that shielded it from predators. Dinochirus, a fascinating dinosaur that once roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, is shrouded in mystery and intrigue. With a name meaning terrible hand, this enigmatic creature is known for its colossal size and peculiar features. Discovered from incomplete fossils in the Gobi Desert, Mongolia, Dinochirus, sparked scientific curiosity due to the initial lack of knowledge about its appearance. Suchomimus, a remarkable dinosaur from the Cretaceous period, roamed the ancient landscapes around 112 million years ago. Resembling a colossal predator with an elongated snout and fearsome jaws, Suchomimus belongs to the Spinosaurid family, showcasing adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. This dinosaur's discovery in Niger has provided paleontologists with valuable insights into the diverse ecosystems of the ancient world, offering a glimpse into the fascinating adaptations that allowed certain dinosaurs to thrive in both terrestrial and aquatic environments. Amargosaurus, 
a fascinating dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, approximately 129 to 120 million years ago, roamed the ancient landscapes of what is now South America. This herbivorous creature belonged to the sauropod family, known for their long necks and massive size. What sets Amargosaurus apart is its distinctive double row of impressive spines running along its neck and back, reminiscent of a prehistoric sail. Alamosaurus, a colossal dinosaur that once roamed the ancient landscapes of North America, belongs to the Titanosaur family, renowned for its massive size. This gentle giant walked the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 to 66 million years ago. With a distinctive long neck and tail, Alamosaurus epitomized the classic sauropod body plan. The Brachiosaurus, a colossal herbivorous dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, stands as a towering testament to prehistoric magnificence. Characterized by its distinctive long neck and forelimbs, this gentle giant reached towering heights, with some estimates suggesting lengths of up to 85 feet, 26 meters. Its name, meaning arm lizard, reflects the unusual length of its front limbs which set it apart from its dinosaur counterparts. Edmontosaurus, a colossal herbivorous dinosaur that roamed the Earth approximately 73 to 66 million years ago, captivates the imagination with its imposing presence. Belonging to the hadrosaurid family, Edmontosaurus was characterized by its distinctive duck-billed appearance, featuring a broad, flattened snout reminiscent of a beak. This magnificent creature, named after the Edmonton Formation in Alberta, Canada, where its fossils were first discovered, reached lengths of up to 40 feet, 12 meters, and boasted a massive, robust body. Iguanodon, a captivating herbivorous dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period, roamed the Earth approximately 125 million years ago. With a distinctive appearance characterized by its large size, robust build, and prominent thumb spikes, Iguanodon was a notable member of the ornithopod dinosaur family. These bipedal creatures, known for their herbivorous diet, possessed remarkable adaptations such as a toothless beak for cropping vegetation and the ability to walk on both two and four legs. Camarasaurus, a majestic herbivorous dinosaur that once roamed the late Jurassic landscapes, presents an awe-inspiring glimpse into prehistoric times. Characterized by its long neck and tail, this sauropod belonged to the family of colossal, long-necked dinosaurs, with a massive barrel-shaped body and sturdy legs supporting its immense weight. Camarasaurus was a formidable presence in its ecosystem. Fossil evidence suggests that these gentle giants reached lengths of up to 75 feet, 23 meters, and were adorned with a relatively small head perched atop an extended neck allowing them to graze on vegetation at lofty heights. Myasaura, meaning good mother lizard, is a fascinating dinosaur species that roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 80 million years ago. This herbivorous dinosaur belongs to the hadrosaurid family, characterized by its distinctive duckbill shape. Myasaura holds a special place in paleontological history 
due to evidence suggesting communal nesting behavior. The Corythosaurus was a captivating herbivorous creature known for its distinctive appearance. Resembling a large duck-billed dinosaur, it featured a hollow, helmet-like crest on its head that bore a striking resemblance to the crests of modern-day cassowaries. This elaborate structure is believed to have played a role in vocalization and possibly as a display during mating rituals. Apatosaurus, a colossal herbivorous dinosaur that once roamed Earth during the late Jurassic period, approximately 150 million years ago, captivates with its massive and distinctive presence. Formerly known as Brontosaurus, this long-necked sauropod dinosaur boasts an elongated whip-like tail and a towering yet graceful frame reaching lengths of up to 75 feet. The Diplodocus, a magnificent dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, stands as a testament to the grandeur of prehistoric life. With its elongated neck and tail, this herbivorous giant is recognized for its remarkable size, reaching lengths of up to 90 feet or more. Sporting a slender frame and a distinctive row of spines along its back, Diplodocus was designed for a life of gentle browsing on vegetation. Mutaburosaurus is a fascinating dinosaur that once roamed the ancient landscapes of Australia during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 112 million years ago. This herbivorous dinosaur belonged to the Iguanodontian family and is known for its distinctive elongated snout and a unique cranial crest. The name Mutaburosaurus is derived from the location of its discovery near Mutabura in Queensland, Australia. Dreadnoughtus, a colossal dinosaur that once roamed the earth during the late Cretaceous period, represents a true titan among giants. Belonging to the titanosaur family, this massive herbivore was first discovered in Argentina. Its name, meaning fear nothing, aptly captures the awe-inspiring nature of this prehistoric behemoth. Mamenchisaurus, a majestic genus of long-necked sauropod dinosaur, once roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, approximately 160 to 145 million years ago. Named after the Mementisaurus constructus found in China, these colossal herbivores were characterized by their remarkable elongated necks, often exceeding half the length of their bodies. The Therizinosaurus, a captivating creature from the late Cretaceous period, stands as a testament to the wonders of prehistoric life. Belonging to the theropod dinosaur family, its most distinctive feature is the extraordinarily long and razor-sharp claws adorning its massive three-toed limbs. With an imposing height and a herbivorous diet, the Therizinosaurus strikes an intriguing balance between fearsome appearance and a more docile lifestyle. Nasutoceratops, roamed the ancient landscapes of what is now North America around 76 million years ago. This herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur, named for its prominent nasal horn, possessed a distinctive appearance marked by a large ornate frill at the back of its skull, adorned with intricate patterns. The Stegosaurus, a majestic herbivorous dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period, approximately 155 to 150 million years ago, captivates with its distinctive appearance. Characterized by a double row of large bony plates along its back and four imposing spikes on its tail, 
the Stegosaurus cuts an iconic figure in the prehistoric landscape. Despite its massive size, reaching up to 30 feet in length, this gentle giant subsisted on a diet of plants. Olorititon is a captivating and distinctive dinosaur that roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. This herbivorous dinosaur belongs to the hadrosaurid family, characterized by its iconic duck bill and impressive hollow crest on its skull. The name Olorotitan is derived from the Russian and Greek words for giant swan, reflecting the dinosaur's elegant appearance. Pentaceratops is a genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 73 million years ago. The name Pentaceratops means five-horned face, and it is derived from the Greek words pente, five, and keras, horn. The dinosaur is known for its distinctive frill adorned with five horns. Nojosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 115 to 105 million years ago. Nigerosaurus fossils were first discovered in Niger, West Africa in 1999, and the dinosaur was formally described in 2005. One distinctive feature of Nigerosaurus is its broad, square-shaped muzzle, which contained numerous closely packed teeth. These teeth were adapted for cropping vegetation close to the ground, suggesting that Nigerosaurus was a low browser, feeding on plants that grew at or near the surface. Cynoceratops is a genus of ceratopsian dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 73 million years ago. Its fossils were discovered in the Xingezhuang Formation in China. Cynoceratops belonged to the ceratopsid family, which includes well-known dinosaurs like Triceratops. The name Cynoceratops is derived from Cyno, meaning Chinese, and Ceratops, meaning horned face. Uranosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 112 to 110 million years ago. Its fossils were discovered in Niger, Africa. The name Uranosaurus is derived from the Greek words Uranos, meaning sky or heaven, and Sauros, meaning lizard. Torosaurus is a genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. Torosaurus is known for its large, elongated frill at the back of its skull. This frill had openings and was adorned with fenestrae, holes, making it one of the most unique features among ceratopsid dinosaurs. Parasaurolophus was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 73 million years ago. Here are some interesting facts about Parasaurolophus. Distinctive crest. One of the most recognizable features of Parasaurolophus is its elaborate cranial crest, which extended backward from its skull. Discovery. The first fossils of Parasaurolophus were discovered in Alberta, Canada in 1920 by paleontologist William Parks. Herding behavior. Fossilized trackways suggest that Parasaurolophus may have moved in herds. Triceratops was a large herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 68 to 66 million years ago. Triceratops is often associated with Torosaurus, 
another ceratopsid dinosaur. Some scientists debate whether Torosaurus is a distinct genus or simply an adult form of Triceratops. Like many dinosaurs, Triceratops became extinct at the end of the Cretaceous period, possibly due to a combination of environmental changes and the impact of a large asteroid. Tintaosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 84 to 72 million years ago. It belonged to the Hadrosaurid family, which is a group of duck-billed dinosaurs. The name Tsintaosaurus is derived from the city of Qingdao, formerly spelled Qingtao in China, where the first fossils were discovered. Archaeornithomimus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. The name Archaeornithomimus means ancient bird mimic, reflecting its bird-like characteristics. This dinosaur belonged to the group known as ornithomimids, which were bipedal ostrich-like dinosaurs. Wirhosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that belonged to the Stegosaurian group, characterized by the distinctive plates and spikes along their backs. The name Wirhosaurus is derived from Wuerho, a city in China where fossils of this dinosaur were discovered. It lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 130 to 120 million years ago. Atrociraptor was a relatively small dromaeosaur measuring two maometos, 6.6 .6 ft long and weighing 15 kilos in 33 lelbi. It differs from Bambi raptor and other dromaeosaurids in its more isodont dentition. The teeth have different sizes but the same form and short deep snout. A skull opening, the maxillary fenestra, is relatively large and positioned right above another opening, the promaxillary fenestra a condition not known from other species. Australovenator is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived approximately 90 million years ago during the mid-Cretaceous period. Its name, Australovenator, means southern hunter, reflecting the fact that it was discovered in Australia. The fossilized remains of Australovenata were found in Queensland and it is considered one of the most complete carnivorous dinosaur fossils ever discovered in Australia. Chasmosaurus was a genus of ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 76 to 74 million years ago. These herbivorous dinosaurs belonged to the Ornithischian order and are known for their distinctive frill and horns. Chasmosaurus fossils have been found in North America, particularly in what is now Alberta, Canada. Chungkingosaurus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that belongs to the Stegosaurian family. Fossils of Chungkingosaurus have been found in China, specifically in the Sichuan province. The dinosaur lived during the late Jurassic period around 160 million years ago. Dilophosaurus was a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Jurassic period around 193 million years ago. The name Dilophosaurus means Two crested lizard, referring to the pair of crests on its skull. It was first discovered in 1942 in Arizona, USA, by Sam Wells.
Deinonychus is a genus of dromaeosaurid theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, around 115 to 108 million years ago. The name Deinonychus means terrible claw, which is derived from the large curved claw on each hind foot. Crichtonsaurus, meaning Crichton's lizard, is a dubious genus of herbivorous ankylosaurid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous in what is now China. It was named after Michael Crichton, the author of the dinosaur novel Jurassic Park. A sister taxon was discovered, C. benziensis, which is now identified as a separate genus. Coelophysis is a genus of small theropod dinosaurs that lived approximately late Triassic period, around late Carnian to early Norian stages, about 203 to 196 million years ago. Coelophysis was a relatively small dinosaur with an estimated length of about 3 meters, 10 feet. Compsognathus was a small bipedal dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 150 million years ago. It belonged to the Theropoda group, which includes other carnivorous dinosaurs like Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Compsognathus was a fast and agile predator with a slender body and long legs. Euoplocephalus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 76 to 70 million years ago. It belonged to the family Ankylosauridae, known for their heavily armoured bodies and distinctive features. Dracorex is a genus of dinosaur that lived approximately 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous period. Its name, which means Dragon King, reflects its dragon-like appearance. Dracorex was a member of the Pachycephalosaurid family, characterized by its thickened skull roof. Dimetrodon is a genus of extinct sail-backed synapsids that lived during the Permian period, approximately 295 to 272 million years ago. Despite its reptilian appearance, Dimetrodon is not classified as a dinosaur. It predates dinosaurs by tens of millions of years. Dryosaurus was a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, around 150 million years ago. It belonged to the family Dryosauridae and was a small to medium-sized dinosaur measuring about 8 to 14 feet, 2.5 to 4.3 meters in length. Gallimimus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. The name Gallimimus means chicken mimic, reflecting its bird-like characteristics. It belonged to the group of theropods known as ornithomimids, which were characterized by their long legs, slender bodies and beak-like jaws. Gigant Spinosaurus is a genus of dinosaur that belonged to the Stegosauria group, 
known for their distinctive spiked tails and plates along their back. It lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 161.2 to 155.7 million years ago. Fossils of gigant Spinosaurus were discovered in the Shishigu formation in China. Herrerasaurus was an early theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Triassic period, around 231 to 220 million years ago. It is considered one of the earliest and most primitive theropods, belonging to the group of dinosaurs that includes later giants like Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptor. Homolocephal is a genus of small herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 million years ago. It belonged to a group of dinosaurs known as pachycephalosaurs, which were characterized by their thickened skulls and, in some cases, domed or flattened head crests. Huayangosaurus is a genus of dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 160 million years ago. It belongs to the family Stegosauridae, which includes herbivorous dinosaurs known for their distinctive double row of large plates along their backs and spikes on their tails. Kentrosaurus is a genus of stegosaurid dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, approximately 156 to 150 million years ago. It belonged to the family Stegosauridae, which also includes the more well-known Stegosaurus. Kentrosaurus fossils have been found in Tanzania, Africa. Oviraptor is a genus of feathered theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 75 million years ago. The name Oviraptor means egg thief in Latin, but it is now widely believed that this dinosaur did not actually steal eggs. Pachycephalosaurus was a dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 66 million years ago. Key features of Pachycephalosaurus include its thick skull roof, which could be over 10 inches, 25 semitum, thick in some specimens. The exact purpose of this thick skull is still debated among scientists. Pachyhinosaurus is a genus of herbivorous ceratopsid dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 70 to 67 million years ago. Its name, Pachyhinosaurus, means thick-nosed lizard, which refers to the thickened bony boss or bump on its snout. These dinosaurs were characterized by their unique, flattened and elongated skulls with various horns and frills. Polycanthus is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period, approximately 132 to 126 million years ago. It belonged to the family Nodosauridae, a group of heavily armored dinosaurs known for their thick bony plates and spikes. The first fossils of Polycanthus were discovered in the early 1860s in England, specifically on the Isle of Wight. Proceratosaurus is a small theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, 
around 148 to 166 million years ago. Its name, which means before Ceratosaurus, reflects its status as an early member of the Ceratosaur family. The fossilized remains of Proceratosaurus have been found in England and possibly Portugal. Lystrosaurus is an extinct genus of herbivorous therapsids that lived during the Permian and Triassic periods, approximately 250 to 200 million years ago. It belongs to a group of animals called decinodonts, which were characterized by their beak-like mouths and tusks. Lystrosaurus was a relatively small creature with a compact body and a distinctive short snout. Minmi is not only a dinosaur, but also the name given to a genus of small herbivorous ankylosaurian dinosaurs that lived in the early Cretaceous period, around 110 million years ago. These dinosaurs belonged to the family Nodosauridae and were characterized by their armored bodies with bony plates and spikes. Monolophosaurus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the Middle Jurassic period, approximately 170 million years ago. Its name, meaning single crested lizard, refers to the distinctive crest on its skull. Moros intrepidus is a small feathered dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 96 million years ago. It belongs to the group of theropod dinosaurs, which includes the famous Tyrannosaurus rex. Moros intrepidus was discovered in the Cedar Mountain Formation of Utah, USA. Nodosaurus was a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 100 to 98 million years ago. It belonged to the Nodosaurid family, which were a group of armored dinosaurs closely related to ankylosaurs. Nodosaurus fossils have been discovered in North America, particularly in the United States and Canada. Styracosaurus was a herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 75 to 76 million years ago. It belonged to the Ceratopsidae family, which also includes well-known dinosaurs like Triceratops. Styracosaurus was characterized by its distinctive appearance, featuring a large frill at the back of its skull and a series of long, curved spikes projecting from the frill and its nose horn. Trudon is a genus of small, bird-like theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 77 to 68 million years ago. The name Trudon means wounding tooth, reflecting its sharp teeth. It belonged to the family Troodontidae and is known for its relatively large brain compared to its body size, suggesting a high level of intelligence among dinosaurs. Euteraptor is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the early Cretaceous period around 125 million years ago. It was a member of the Dromaeosaurid family, which also includes well-known dinosaurs like Velociraptor. Euteraptor was a large, predatory dinosaur, estimated to have reached lengths of about 20 feet, 6 meters, and weighing around 1,000 pounds, 450 kilograms. Velociraptor was a small feathered dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, around 85 to 70 million years ago. 
Velociraptor was a relatively small dinosaur, measuring about 6 feet 1.8 meters in length and standing about 1.6 feet 0.5 meters tall at the hip. It had a sleek, bird-like appearance with a long, stiff tail, a relatively large skull, and a distinctive sickle-shaped claw on each hind foot. Pyroraptor was a genus of small, feathered theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. Its name, Pyroraptor, is derived from the Greek words pyre, meaning fire, and raptor, meaning thief or plunderer. The name suggests a fast and agile predator. Sauropelta is a genus of herbivorous dinosaur that lived during the late Jurassic period, around 150 million years ago. It belonged to the family Nodosauridae, which are a group of armored dinosaurs. Fossils of Sauropelta have been found in North America, specifically in the Morrison Formation, which spans across several Western US states. Sinosauropteryx is a genus of small, feathered dinosaur that lived in the early Cretaceous period, approximately 130 million years ago. It belongs to the theropod group of dinosaurs, which includes famous carnivores like Tyrannosaurus rex. Sinosauropteryx was discovered in Liaoning Province, China, known for its rich deposits of well-preserved fossils. Struthiomimus is a genus of theropod dinosaur that lived during the late Cretaceous period, approximately 75 to 66 million years ago. The name Struthiomimus means ostrich mimic. Stygimoloch is a genus of dinosaur that belongs to the family Pachycephalosauridae, known for its distinctive dome-shaped skull. The name Stygimoloch is derived from Greek words meaning Styx demon, referencing the river Styx from Greek mythology 